We thank you, Father, we bless you, Father, we worship you, Father, we adore you, Father, we lift you up on high, Father, we give you all the glory, Father, we give you all the praise. We slept safely yesterday night, we woke up safely again this morning. This moment of 10 minutes in your presence, let it be a good time in your presence in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Redeemer, we have come again into your presence at this time to seek your face and to pray. As we seek your face today, help us to find your face in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Let's take two choruses before we continue in the word of God. We are gathering together unto thee. We are gathering together unto thee. Unto the Lord shall the gathering of his people be. We are gathering together unto thee, unto the Lord. We are gathering together unto thee. We are gathering together unto thee. Unto the Lord shall the gathering of his people be. We are gathering together unto thee. Praise ye the Lord, for whom more blessings flow. For whom more blessings flow. For whom more blessings flow. Praise ye the Lord, for whom more blessings flow. Praise him forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. No. This morning we want to look at the word of God on what God counts as important in our service to him. What God counts as important in our service to him. And I will take that story from the story of the sisters of Lazarus. Lazarus was the man that died in Luke, you know, John chapter 11, where we are told in that place that Jesus wept when the people were crying, the sisters were crying, and they said, Lord, if you have been here, Lazarus would not have died. Then Jesus wept. After he wept, then he said, where do you put him? When he told him, he now went there, and he said, remove the stones. And he said, Lazarus, come forth. And this Mary and Martha, the sisters of this Lazarus. At a particular time, before this time, Jesus went to their house. And as he went to their house, Mary, one of them, was busy making arrangements for cooking and making arrangements for repairing of the house, taking care of things. The other one of them sat down at the feet of Jesus. She was listening to what Jesus Christ was saying. Then the other one that was cooking, that was taking care of the house, taking care of food, came and he said, Jesus, Master, tell my sister to come and assist me. She's just doing all these things, listening to you. Jesus said, Madam, Madam, he called her name. He said, Mary, you have chosen the good part. The good part is to hear the word of God. And to do it. And he said, that good part she has chosen will not be taken away from, from her. He said, the other one is busy on service. You are just busy serving, serving God. Serving, you are saying you are serving God, you are serving God. Then, as I'm sleeping, I'm serving God. You are sleeping and serving God, but you are not hearing the word of God. You are singing the choir and serving God, you are not hearing the word of God. You are doing ulcer and serving God, you are not hearing the word of God. You are doing security and traffic control and serving God. You're not hearing the word of God. You are doing anything in the house of God, but you're not hearing the word of God. Jesus said, the most important thing is to hear the word of God and to do the word of God. Because faith, we are told, comes by what? By hearing. And hearing by what? By the word of God. You can't have faith if you don't hear the word of God. If you don't hear the word of God, you cannot have faith. If you don't read the word of God, you cannot have faith. So faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And this morning, as we are hearing the word of God, our faith will rise, will increase in Jesus' name. Because I've come to hear his word. Our faith will be increased. Give time to hearing the word of God. 
hear his word by reading his word. Hear his word by playing back his word. And you can come. For those who are online, listening to us now, they can join us on our 10 Minutes with God YouTube channel. And every time the word of God is being dropped there, hear the word of God from, from day one to day two, day, day three. Every day the word of God is coming to them. 10, 10 minutes. We made it 10 minutes so that you don't say, ah, it's too long because that is another thing. They say, ah, yeah, we say it's too long. We say long in the world, in the, in the time, in the prayer. And God said, don't make it long. Make it brief. 10 minutes, but make it often, every day. Wow. If you can be hearing the word of God 10, 10 minutes every day, I'm telling you, in no, in no time at all, you become a giant. You become a spiritual giant, not a spiritual grasshopper. You become a spiritual giant because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. There was a woman I heard about. She had terrible terminal illness, sickness that should take her life. Terminal illness means a sickness that would, that would make people to die. But the woman was saying every time, they said she even went to coma. She cannot eat. She cannot talk. But every opportunity she have to talk, she will say, I will not die. She will say, I know I will not die. She will say, I know I will not die. She will say, I know I will not die. And you know what? She didn't die. She recovered. I now told, they now said, the daughter was talking to me. The daughter now said, I, I, I was enjoying the testimony. I was happy with the testimony because this is what I believe. This is what I preach. This is the word of God. This is the power of God. I now told the daughter. The daughter said, when the woman recovered, they were telling her what she was saying. The woman said she didn't know what she was saying. I said, ah, I know what happened. She has eaten the word of God too much. She has taken in the word of God too much that even in the unconscious state, she was saying it. She was saying the word of God. Some people have eaten the word of the world so much that even in the unconscious state, they will be saying it. Even when they, there's no need to say it, they will say it, bad, bad things. They will place a cause. They will say things that are baseless. But you, eat the word of God. Stay inside the word of God and speak positive. Speak positive. Speak positive. Speak what? Positive concerning your life. And, and be staying positive. People are saying they're casting down. The Bible says it. It says when men say they're casting down, what are you going to say? They're lifting up. Have you ever seen where the Bible says, yeah, yeah, it's finished. I can't, I didn't see anywhere in the Bible. The servant of Elijah or Elisha, he came. He said, alas, my master, what shall we do? The master told him, fear not, they that be with us, I'm going to they that be with them. Even when you don't see things, say things that are going to make you to see things. We have people that they were on wheelchair, bed reading, and the, the word of God came to them, and they stood up on their own. Nobody went to pray for them. Nobody went to preach to them. So your miracle is in you. Your miracle is in your hand. Your miracle is in what you believe. Your miracle is in what you hear. Those people read the word of God. They read a book on healing, and they were hitting it. Ah, so you yes, already hit me. So what am I doing on the wheelchair? They rose up. They made a attempt to rise up and they rose up. Wow. Praise the Lord. As things are down for many people today, and you are hearing the word of God from me today, as you make attempt to rise up from those things that are bad that people are in today, what you will experience is that you will come out, you will rise in Jesus' name. Let's stand upon our feet and begin to tell the Lord that God, I will hear your word. I will take your word seriously. I will commit to hearing your word. I will commit to reading your word. I will continue to doing your word. I will continue commit to obeying your word. I will commit to following your word. I will commit to doing what you want me to do at all times in the name of Jesus. Empower me. Give me grace and grace me with your power, with your grace, with your mighty hand that I will do what you want me to do. I will walk in the way you want me to walk. I will abide in the way you want me to abide. I will not just be in service. Service is good, though. Don't say that. I say service is not good. Service is good to God, though, and to man. But much more better is hearing the word of God because that is how faith comes, though. Faith comes by hearing, hearing, hearing by the word of God. 
don't commit yourself to hearing what the doctor say. Don't commit yourself to hearing what the nurses say. Don't commit yourself to hearing what the judge, what the what the what the lawyer say. Don't commit yourself to hearing what the political analysts, the economic analysts say. What they are going to say is going to demoralize you. What you should commit to is the word of God. So that even when they analyze it negatively, you know the word of God and tell them things are going to get better by the word of God. And it will be so for you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Father, we thank you because I've seen from your word the example and the importance of hearing your word. Jesus said it. They reported to him that this one is hearing, this one is serving. He says hearing is much more important than serving. Lord, help us to have understanding in Jesus' name. As we hear a word and build up our faith day to day, help us that all the challenges of our life, we shall overcome them, we shall, we shall surmount them in Jesus' name. Our going now this morning is blessed in Jesus' name. Our coming in is blessed in Jesus' name. All our meetings today are blessed in Jesus' name. Oh God, I pray, great and mighty miracle you will do for us in Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father, for the answer prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.